for those of you that have friends. Hands down. But this little boy isn't very friendly sometimes. Let's see what happens to him. Anthony, please pass me my magic book. Sure, Wiz. Thank you. Welcome. Ah. Today's story is entitled Johnny and the Climbing Tree. On your mark, get set, go! screamed one of the boys as they all started running down the street to their favorite park. It was close to their homes and it had a nice tree that they liked to climb. Johnny usually was the first one to the park, but he'd hurt his right foot and so he couldn't run as fast. As he got to the park, he saw the other boys already climbing up the tree. Wait for me, he yelled. The boys worked their way up the tree, including Johnny, who'd quickly forgotten about his hurt foot. Reaching the other boys, he then continued out on a smaller branch, a branch they'd never climbed out on before. Where are you going? asked one of the boys. Don't you know it's dangerous out there? What's the matter with you? Johnny responded. Are you guys afraid or what? What a bunch of babies you are, afraid to climb out here. Johnny continued to make fun of the other boys, even as they climbed down from the tree and went home. Having nobody to play with, Johnny went home. The next day, Johnny went back down to the park. The other boys were already there by the time Johnny arrived. Normally, they would yell at each other in a playful tone. Not today. They ignored Johnny. When Johnny went over to where they were, the other boys just ignored him. Hey guys, I'm sorry for those mean things I said yesterday, Johnny said. We're still friends, right? Johnny's apology might as well have been said in a windstorm where no one could hear it. The other boys continued to ignore him. Come on, guys, I said I'm sorry, Johnny tried again. And again, the other boys ignored Johnny. Johnny walked out of the park, pouting all the way home. When he got home, his dad saw him and recognized that look on his face. What's the matter, son? You look sad. The other boys won't play with me, Dad. Johnny's voice made it sound as if he were the innocent one, that it was the other boy's fault. What do you mean they won't play with you? What's wrong? Well, yesterday I said some mean things to them. Today I told them I was sorry, but they still wouldn't play with me. That's not fair. What kind of mean things did you say to them yesterday? And why? His dad asked. I don't know why. I just told them how stupid they were and stuff like that. But when I saw them today, I told them I was sorry. Shouldn't they play with me now? Seeing a golden chance to show his son another one of life's tough lessons, Johnny's dad said, come with me. He led Johnny out to the workshed where he grabbed a hammer and a few big nails. Let's go down to the park. Johnny followed his dad down the street to the park. Is he going to beat up the kids with the hammer? And what are the nails for? It is amazing what ideas run through the mind of a young boy. Entering the park, Johnny saw that the other boys were gone. His dad headed over to the climbing tree and Johnny was right with him. As they got to the tree, his dad handed him the hammer and one of the nails. Hammer this nail into that tree, he told Johnny. Johnny thought it was a little strange, hammering a nail into his favorite tree, but he never questioned his dad. So he hammered the nail into the tree, missing the nail on a couple swings. Now this one, his dad said, as he handed another nail to Johnny. This continued until Johnny had hammered six nails into the tree his climbing tree. Now, take them out, Johnny's dad said as he pointed to the nails. 
taking them out was not as easy as putting them in. Johnny struggled as he pulled the nails out. It took a few minutes, but he finally got them all out. After they were all out, Johnny noticed that some sap was coming out of the tree where the nails had been. See that? His dad asked. You've taken the nails out of the tree, but the hurt is still there. You may have told your friends that you were sorry for saying mean things, but the hurt is still there with them, just as the hurt is still there with the tree. It will take more than a day for the tree to heal, and it will take more than one day for your friends to heal from what you said to them. The end. Anthony, thank you.